I cannot stand when things are previewed so early that us consumers can have, but we can't have it within like a freaking year because they're like, oh yeah, we're going to do this cool thing, but like we're releasing it, you know, who knows when. That goes for like video games, music, movies, anything in that sort of nature of just like the media or things that we consume that we have on a daily basis and we can't watch it or consume it or have it for over a freaking year. And I think that needs to be done now. So with things like this, I feel like it brings down the hype of like what you're circling around. Now again, yeah, it may not fully bring down the hype, but it's also just like, it's just sad when you have something you've been looking forward to for so long and you have to wait so long for it. Who knows if you're even gonna be around when it happens, you know what I mean? Like that's also the sad thing about it. I've had this thought for a while and obviously this kind of really made a big like exclamation point in my head with like, of course, like GTA um and that being you know for a while until it comes out and then i saw movies and, and other you know i've always thought about there's music as well so i kind of want to split it up in like three different categories of like movies video games and music so the first thing i'm going to start is with movies and with this stuff i'm going to say like when i talk about these previews and these topics i really mean more about like the rollout and how long should a rollout really be before you really like release the movie and stuff like that or you know release whatever is being released so with movies i understand you want to have a big thing around it you need the posters you need the commercials you need to make sure everything's set blah 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 but with that being said as well more than likely when you're previewing a movie it's probably already done or at least majority finished edited again i'm not in the movie business so maybe they just finish recording they don't fully edit everything out and they kind of first edit trailers so they're like all right let's put the best trailer out someone can confirm that that might be true maybe not i don't know but for me i feel like it would tie up so many good things and so many good like ends and stuff if you just kind of put it all together in one the movie's finished all right cool now we'll chop it up to see which we can show for trailers i feel like with movies you could have two to three months of like previewing it before you can drop it like anything over i feel like it's just like you could still do it like again like if you preview a movie in like march and you're like all right it's coming out in like august sure that's fine i feel like that's like far enough to where you're like all right we got some anticipation build up but at the same time it's not eons away you know what i mean but why are you telling me about shrek 5 and that john ain't coming out for another couple years why are you telling me that? There's like, there's no, I feel like there's no reason to tell me a movie's being previewed two years. Like you're telling me about a movie two years from now. Like again, we don't know who's gonna be around in two years. I don't know what's gonna happen in two years. Can I even watch the movie in two years? What's gonna happen? Why won't you tell me when the movie's coming out in like three to four months? Cause it's like, damn, that just randomly dropped on me and I got two to three months to prepare for it. I'm so excited. I get to see it soon. I don't have to wait two years to wonder what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Why don't you just drop the movie, preview, boom. You got trailer, came out, awesome, looks great. You got movie titles, you got toys that probably can come out. You got posters, whatever. Cool, great, movie's coming out, three months. Be prepared, we're gonna, we're gonna milk it for three months. Okay. I got three months to prepare, you get my tickets, whatever I can see it, blah, blah, blah. And after that, it's probably gonna be in streaming within like a week after that. So again, just drop it when you're ready. Don't mention something to me that's not ready. I hate that, I don't like it. So movies, I feel like you can do like two to three months and then it'll still get the same exact effect of your sales and whatever, just as much as you would have waited two years. And I think you'll probably get more than that. So again, two to three months, don't have to wait that much longer. Next is gaming. Of course, like I mentioned, GTA 6. Oh, we've been waiting since 2000 and like 15, 16. Again, I'm not going to say 2013. I think it was when GTA 5 came out because we just got GTA 5. We're all consuming it within then the first couple of years. We like this. We love it. We're playing it over and over and over again. It's a game that, yeah, it has a storyline, but you can play this forever. And so no one's really focusing on the next game yet, per se. But obviously, as the years were going on, we're kind of like, hmm, when's GTA 6 coming out? And then I think in the last year, whenever it was, the trailer dropped. And now we finally get to see what GTA 6 is going to look like. And then, boom, they smack dab that date of 2025. And it's just like, really, like, 
to me i would have rather still been waiting for like the rumors of like there's a gta 6 coming out and then waiting that till 2024 to be like hey it's coming out 2025 like i'd rather of that but at the end of the day too it's like i think with the hype that they had they were right they you know had the rumors talking about it's probably gonna happen it's probably gonna happen and then now we're still in kind of talks of it and then they dropped the trailer and now unfortunately we gotta wait like at least from the trailer i think it was like two years which is just dumb again if you have it ready and you are ready to drop it again i could probably assume they're not ready to drop it yet it's still got bugs whatever they got to put around but to me it's like i would want the full consumption or being able to be ready when it's fully done and then i can be like it's gonna drop in a month be ready get your pre-orders now all this stuff like i feel like a video game doesn't need three four years of, of prep of like we as consumers have to prep for it and get geared up for it drop that in a month drop it in a month say dude this is coming out next month be ready you will have a full four especially something like gta 6 you will have a full four weeks four to five weeks of everybody hyping it up day after day there will be a counter there's everything i can say that for a fact you're going to get the same amount of sales again if it's not ready it's not ready that's fine but don't put it in my head that i have to wait so long for it to come out I'm not saying that the hype's gonna die per se but it's also just gonna make more and more people angry that you're stalling for so long again you don't know who's gonna be here to play that game unfortunately but that's the sad part about it is like these people have been gearing up to play for so long but now they have to be like oh well hopefully you make it to 2025 that's messed up i'd rather have not known this game's coming out than now know i have to survive to that point in time and hopefully nothing bad happens i just feel like with video games you should be like a month video games should be a month before with like trailers toys all that stuff like you only need like a month of hypeness before you drop anything like that so that's just my opinion last thing i want to talk about is music and now this one i feel like with people and their labels and stuff like that it's harder to control sometimes ish but like even then when you're dropping an album and stuff like that like there's a whole rollout preview situation and stuff like that you have things you got to do right for it to really land with everybody again that is probably a lead up single maybe a couple trailers something funny like whatever you drop beforehand before the actual album comes out so for example somebody who i thought did a really good job and this is a bias is tyler the creator my favorite artist rapper everything right now in the moment i just love that guy i've always had since i was like 13 and listened to wolf for the first time that blew my mind but with that being said when he did the call me if you get lost rollout he started out with like some mini trailers on youtube people were like you know and he had the billboards that were going out and we were like what is freaking happening and then at some point he did lumberjack and then that flowed through and everyone's like whoa and then all of a sudden everyone's like oh yeah it's coming out in like two weeks two weeks oh bet like that that was so exciting he didn't like preview the music he didn't do nothing he just said hey here's some trailers cool little teasers here's a music video here's a song for everyone to listen to this is coming out in two weeks be ready and that thing sold so much money it got another grammy like it did success and it's still being played today at least from a lot of people that i know around me and i'm playing it too there are other people in the music industry that will announce things and will delay it for so long they're like it's coming out in like three months four five months from now and i'm like that's great and i know something's coming but like i feel like with music it's so much easier to delay because like again if you're a kanye fan you just know this man is capping out of his ass <laughs> you know he's not gonna drop nothing but like there's those artists that just like yeah like i'll probably drop it then and then they never drop it or you're still waiting and waiting and waiting it's just like don't say anything until you know it's fully ready and with that being said you can do it in like a month a couple weeks like music should not have to be this grand six month to a year wait of hey i'm about to drop this just wait that long no bro that does not have to happen that does not have to happen because your hype in your moment can literally be like all right i'm gonna drop it on this date i'll preview it for a few weeks beforehand and then after that i'm going to then have my concerts music videos go on you know interviews this and that like you can do that for a whole year or two and still be relevant and it's just like you have that big gearing up for you don't have to wait an extra year year and a half and the biggest thing too is like TikTok. TikTok people are always previewing music on TikTok. 
making sure, oh, do you think the fans are going to like it? Which I think is stupid too. Don't preview stuff if you're not your own fan of your own music, if you don't like it. Like, just that's just that's really dumb. Don't always cater to the people. If you like your music, you should be able to put it out and that'd be fine. But even then, people on TikTok put things out, their music, and people get fall in love with that, like, 10 seconds of it. And then all of a sudden, when the full song comes out, nobody likes it. It's a curse. You should not put your music out on TikTok. That's where TikTok is like a, a blessing and a curse because again, you get your music out there and you're known, but when it's like the full three minute version and not the 10 seconds that everyone can just replay in their head, nobody's gonna like it. And that's a sad truth about it too. And that's what sucks. So you gotta be careful with that things too. But like I said, music, two to four weeks or so like that. That's that's where I think should be the max of like rollout, putting previews, everything like that, like for music and then drop the album. And then boom, from there on, you got, you can do a deluxe, you got your concerts, you got your interviews, like you're set up for a good year or so, if it's done right. Again, I'm not saying with these big companies and artists and stuff like that, that it's not going to do well. Like if somebody big, like again, like I said, like someone big, like GTA and Rockstar and all them, and then a uh, big series, probably like Marvel, and then uh, with music and stuff like that, like you just know that if they put out a date and it's like a while from now, it's probably still going to do numbers. It's just it's just how it is when they're really big. But overall, to someone like a consumer that wants to consume your your games or, or music or watch the movies, and stuff like that, like it sucks to the point of like, I have to wait so long after you just announced it. And it's just like, well, shoot, like I'm going to think about it now because in my head for like a few days. But then after that, I'm going to forget about it. And there's no way you're going to keep a hype of teasing everybody for like every month like this is gonna happen this is gonna still happen by the way like maybe like it's gonna happen it's gonna happen for like a year like no nah, at some point it's gonna get annoying probably at least i feel like it's gonna be a little annoying unless you're really dedicated to something but that's to say though too you got to be careful with that stuff because imagine waiting so long and then it flops imagine waiting so long that you said we're hyping this music this song or whatever and it's garbage a video game so long you're hyping up it flops. Movies, you think it's going to be great, it doesn't do jack in the box office. That's what I'm saying too. It's like, I'd rather you rip a Band-Aid off and say, here it is in a few months. It kind of sucked. All right, well, like I didn't waste my time or anything like that thinking about it. It sucked, but like, you know what? It happened and it's over and done with. Whereas like, the longer you prolong something and get everybody geared up for it and it sucks, you will lose so many followers in my opinion. I think that you're just going to lose people from that because that's just like a very disrespectful thing to do in my opinion. But hey, what do I know? All I do is I make videos and I keep prolonging stuff too as well. And I know that sucks. <laughs> but like I said, it's not that deep, but it's kind of that deep. So whatever you want to take from this, take it from that. It is your leader, Scott Maps here. Thanks again for another video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Share it with everybody that you know. Like, subscribe, do all that fun jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care, everybody. Peace out.